Hi everyone, the new storage container features is open for testing in the new EPTU patch. First of all, I'm going to read the patch note, and then we are going to test this on the hallway. Again, if you have read the patch note, you can skip this by click the next timestamp. So 3.22 adds openable cargo containers, allowing players to be able to store commodities and items in. These new 1, 2, 4, and 8 SU containers can be purchased and sold through shops and dropped from your local inventory into your ship cargo grid. These new cargo containers allow contents to be sold individually, as well as the containers themselves, in which case any unsold contents will be sent to the the inventory the container is being held in. So as far as I understand this, each container is a separate inventory. You can choose, let's say, a sub-inventory. You can choose this sub-inventory to sell the contents in there. But if you sell the container, then whatever that is unsold in this container will be returned to the mother inventory of this container. This is actually a bit complicated. I hope there is no bugs involved in this process. Continue on, this also includes work for tractor beams that will make it so cargo is locked onto cargo grids when the ship is locked by the door integrity. So if you lock the door, the container box that's locked on your cargo grid is locked, meaning as long as the integrity is sufficient, cargo cannot be removed from cargo grids except by the owner or party members. Okay, that's really nice. So lock the door as long as the door integrity holds. No one can remove the cargo. But as we all know, the door is very easy to dam get damaged and destroy. And the door will open once you shoot it, even with a pistol. Some doors, I mean. So that's not a strong security. Continue on. It is considered a law infraction if stolen off a cargo grid in a monetized zone. All right. So if you are in a monetized zone, for example, armistice zone, you steal someone else's cargo and you can get a crime stat. That's what it says. Okay, so let's try to test these on the Hall A. So because of this feature, some viewer commented the Hall A is going to a beast for looting because of the cargo grid is outside the ship and you can land the ship on the ground. Okay, first of all, I'm going to extend the cargo spindle. So here is our cargo spindle. So I am at the Microtech in uh, Shuben Interstellar is the only place at Microtech you can buy these boxes, but you uh, you have only size one and size two storage box. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, I don't think the top one is good because the top one I actually cannot access it. Cannot see. Whoa, creates so much damage. But these ones over here, you can access it. You see. On, on the bottom one two three just one side over here we have eight two su boxes so 16 su oh it's really difficult to maybe through here yeah you just have to find your way to access these boxes go under the ship go around only two layers so you can access these four in the front the back just find your way to access. I think just uh, these two you can access. Just uh, two in the middle. It's a little bit difficult, but you can access over here. Yeah, all of these you can access on the ground. Wow, the Hoa is going to be a loot monster. Okay, so I put eight two SU box on this side as well. But I think it is best. The most efficient way is to simply put two eight SU box on each side. So four eight SU box, two on each side. But like I said, I cannot buy eight SU box at Microtech. But you can buy it at any other cargo area at the Lagrange station. And that will make this Hall A a small but crazy loot monster. So right now I am going to loot a bunker, just small loot, because I need those loots in order to test selling these things. So let's go. Wow, what a view right here. Yep, just uh, land like this, very close to the bunker. All right, let's do some combat. Let's make it quick.
Whoa. Now, let's see if we can put this ore into our big box. So, open storage. Oh, I cannot. I also tried in uh, Jumptown. I tried to put the transfer this drug in Jumptown into the storage box. Can I put this drug inside the one ICU, two ICU container? So, I'm going to have to carry this. All right, got on board safely. Now, let me see if I can store this drug inside this container. No way I can. Hold on a second. Oh, I cannot. I can store my clothes, but I cannot store this drug. CIG is preventing this kind of things. So I'm going to try to put... No, I cannot. Let me see if I can put... Um... Let me see if I can drag this into my local inventory. Ooh, I don't think so. This thing has to be on the ship. Yeah, it's highlighted white. I cannot take this, <laughs> drag this inside my local inventory, nor the external storage, this once ICU or two ICU box. My storage box. That's an active. I can't. Now, let's just put these loots back. And then we go sell them. I'm gonna transfer everything into this box. And then... Loot this one. And put this into this box. Alright, I landed safely. Okay, center mess. Okay, click sell. I'm gonna choose... Hi. And, ooh, look at this. We have all these containers over here that we can sell, but the problem is we cannot name them. And we have to... Oh, I see some. All right, this container. We have some FS9. We can sell these. I just sold everything in that container that can be sold. Okay, so this container, I think I cannot sell those armors here. But I can sell the ammo and the gun, FS9, over here. And I sold. Nice. So basically, you can select what container you want to sell, what you want to sell inside. But uh, you wouldn't know which one's which. So I do recommend use 8 SU container and 4 SU container, as, as many as possible, because we'll, you will have less selections. These are just too many. So I click all options. No, it doesn't give me. Let's go to the Shuba Interstellar. Maybe we can sell some armors here. So click sell. Miss Kale. Container. Basically, I have to search them one by one. Not very good organization like this. Oh, I can sell these. You can see the armor from one of these containers. I cannot sell containers that's attached on the ship. I don't think so. But uh, I can sell all these. Look at this. Ooh, this helmet sells for 4.2k. Sell. And this arm is only 480. That's too cheap. This core armor is only 2k. And you can sell all these containers. It's half the price because I think we bought. I bought this container. I think it's about 2k each. So I only sell for 1.1k. So I think, I don't know how to test this. I think the patch note says, for example, if I am selling this 1SU storage container, if there are things inside the container, the, the whatever that's inside this container, when I sell this container, all everything will go back to my local inventory. So I will not be, I will not lose the stuff that's inside. If that's what I understood, but it's really hard to test for me. Okay, so in order to test this feature, I have flown myself to Port Tressler. 
and I bought only one 2SU box, so only one box. So if I click open, and you will see a storage area open, so I am going to put some armors in here. Let me try if I can put this 1 8th SCU storage box inside of it. Oh, we can. So this box, you can store food and water and some ammo, and you can put this box into this 2 SCU storage box, okay? So right now, I am going to only sell this box alone. Okay, cargo shop, click sell, and you can see I have only one 2 SCU box. I am going to sell this one, and you can see, oh, what does it say? Uh, store all. It actually recognizes the stuff inside and you can check and uncheck if you want to sell them together with the box or not. Wow, this is pretty cool. And you also have the price listed for these things that's inside the box. If I choose not to sell these with the container, I only sell the container. So if I sell the container, what will happen? Wow, amazing. And there is no bugs involved. So all my stuff that's inside that container got sent back to my local mother inventory. Wonderful. All right, next thing I'm going to test is the security of these boxes. And this is the captain and uh, she's on her ship. And she's going to drop some boxes and see if I can steal them or not. And each cargo box, she put in some armor pieces. So now, I am going to see if I can steal them. This is detaching mode. Oh! That's an active! I cannot uh, take these boxes out. <laughs> okay, this is some kind of security. That's nice, but... I can open this box and steal its content. I see. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I am going to invite her to party. Okay, we're in party now. Oh, now I can. Wow, neat feature. Wonderful. So lock your door when you're doing loot because other players not in your party cannot track these boxes, but they can open these boxes and loot. They can even put their, the loots inside the ship inventory and then they blow up the ship and the ship will create its own 1 and 2 SU box and they can just track those things into their ship. That way they can steal your stuff. So I like it. It adds a little bit of a security. I left the party. So now I cannot track these boxes. Yeah, right after you left the party, these boxes are not available to you to track to them. Very, very nice. Good job, CIG. These little things it really count. Alright, so this is it for this video, guys. I hope these testings are really helpful. And if you have any other ideas, any other questions you want me to test them out, please leave in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.